This lesson, we'll look at multiplying and dividing integers. So we're done with adding and subtracting. Now it's time for multiplying and dividing. We'll start with multiplying first. Okay, now the rules here are different than the rules for adding and subtracting. That's a key point, okay? Because it all depends on whether the signs are the same. See, like positive, positive, positive 8 times positive 2, negative 8 times negative 2. These signs are the same for both numbers, or whether they're different. Here's a negative times a positive, or a positive times a negative. So it all, it, what makes a difference here is whether the signs are the same or different. Now, if the signs are same, the same, they're both positive or both negative, then the answer is positive. So a negative 8 times a negative 2, the signs are the same, so the answer is positive. All right? Now, if we go over to different signs, different signs equals a negative answer. So negative 8 times positive 2 is negative 16. Signs are different. Signs are different. Positive times a negative is a negative because the signs are different. Okay? So let's see how that works here. Okay? Now the signs are different. So we're going to have a negative. Then you go 5 times 6 is 30. The signs are different. So it's going to be a negative. 7 times 4 is 28. The signs are different, negative 40. The signs are different, negative 24. The signs are different, negative 27. So in all of these, they had different signs, so their answers are all negative. Okay? Now, let's look at these. Positive 6, positive 7, the signs are the same, so it's a positive 42. Look, the signs are the same. Negative times a negative is a positive. 5 times 3 is 15. Positive times a positive is a positive. Negative times a negative, signs are the same. It's a positive. 3 times 3 is 9. 6 times 2 is 12, and since it's negative times a negative, it's going to be positive because those two signs are the same. Okay? Now, division is the exact same rule. Okay? So watch this. We got a positive divided by a negative. The answer is going to be negative. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So 12 divided by a negative 3 is negative 4 because the signs are different. Here the signs are different. One negative, one positive, and then this divided by this is, oh, 4 again. Uh-oh, look at this. Two negatives, same sign, same sign. So 15 divided by 3 is 5, and same sign as positive. These are both positive, so we're going to have a positive answer. Those are the rules for division along with multiplying integers.